Hey guys, this is Peter, and as you know, I have a 4x4 configuration. That is two 2x2 two two MIMO antennas. And some people say, no, that's not four, but it actually is. Four MIMOs, multiple input, multiple output, no matter how you get there, it's the same. Anyway, my 2x2s two are faster than anybody else's on the internet, so why go anywhere else than Proxicast? They make some awesome stuff. I know a lot of you can't go outside with an antenna, but maybe you have HOA or maybe you're on the road, etc. So I wanted to look at some smaller antennas. So I wrote to Proxycast and said, I already have one of these little puck antennas. Could you send me another one? And that way I could do a, a 4x4 MIMO out of it. And they said, 4x4 MIMO? Let me send you this one. And this one looks fantastic. And I've got it right here. It's very small. And yeah, it's got four independent inputs. And you don't have to pay for cabling because it's already here. So I'm going to mount this on the vehicle and take it for a spin. But they also sent me this one that I didn't know existed. This is a 4x4 MIMO. It's got all the cabling right here. It's a little sail thing. And what I want to do is uh, hook these up and just get a fair test. However, they also sent me these. Remember the small little leads that we put inside the radios? To bring the antennas outside they said those ones you have look really flimsy and they sent me some longer really well made but you can feel the thickness on this you can feel the uh it looks good i want to put this under a microscope and compare the two i know there's a difference i can see the difference with my eye i just can't hold it up to the camera that way but i do have a microscope we'll put it underneath and show you the quality difference and i really want to measure this well so that I can show you the difference and whether it's worth doing all of this stuff because, uh, hey, better signal equals more speed. And I am very happy with the speed that I'm getting. I just want to try and get more. And I know a lot of you don't want to go outside with an antenna. So these ones are going to allow us to remain inside. This looks like a really cool idea. So you're going to get your antennas outside of that tube or that cube or whatever it is. And this one, I love the little mobile mount. It doesn't have to be a mobile mount. You could mount this to the outside of your house. I mean, if you had a, I don't know, really sticky uh, HOA, maybe they're not going to let you put up an antenna of any size whatsoever. But this one is really small. And if you hit it with a little bit of paint, I bet it would disappear. Anyway, uh, there you go, guys. Um, Let's give these a try. I'm going to try them both out. I do have a tremendous amount of work that's due tomorrow, so I'm going to do this later in the, the week, but I did want to let you know what's coming. Ask me some questions. I'll test it out. I'm really excited to replace these leads. Uh, this Ecom one, I want to bring out two more leads on this. I'm going to have to go look up which antenna pairs I'm going to pull out of this and put these great leads on it. But first, I want to go back to the can because I know a lot of you have that particular one and uh let's just you know it's very similar to the arcadia but this mine's the nokia we're going to put some better leads on it and look at the signal strength before and after not just the scores that it gets the signal strength because that's what it's all about time of day can affect how much the network's being used and potential throttle but signal is signal so let's take a look at that anyways guys uh that's what's coming up and pretty excited about it Ooh, I have some other great stuff coming up, too. Uh, I got a robotic uh, robot from Xiaomi, and this thing is amazing. Not only does it clean, it mops, and it always goes back to its home, empties itself, and cleans its mop off. It's too much. Anyway, that's all coming up. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Talk to you soon.